Hi, in this video, we'll be going through a paper one question from 2024 applications and interpretation May time zone one. We're going to be going through question two, which is a Venn diagram question. All right, so let's start. So this question, we have a teacher who surveys her students to find out if they've eaten at the local Thai place or the local Indian place. And so in a Venn diagram, here's what I want you to think of this as. Think of this as an aerial view of the Thai cafe. So here we are looking at that Thai cafe and in that Thai cafe, 10 people have been only to that Thai cafe while 13 people are in actually two circles. So this is the Indian cafe over here. So here we have the Indian cafe. We have eight people who've been to the Indian cafe, but those 13 people are in both the Thai cafe circle and the Indian cafe circle. And these two people out here, not as cool as those guys there. They've not been to either cafe because they're not in either circle. All right, so very important that you understand that visual and then answering the questions much easier than it would be if you did not understand. All right. Let's get started. So we're gonna write down the number of students surveyed. In order to do that, all we have to do is add up all the numbers in our Venn diagram. So we have 10 plus 13 plus eight plus two. And whenever you see a question that says write down, you actually don't have to show work on the IB, but sometimes I do, just to be cautious. All right. So now the next question is saying, write down the number of students who have not eaten at the Indian cafe. So not eaten at the Indian cafe. So if we look at the Indian cafe, I'm going to shade the people who have eaten at the Indian cafe. So that whole circle are the people who have eaten at that cafe. Everyone else outside of that pink, outside of that circle, is who have are the people who have not eaten at the Indian cafe. So that's that 10 plus two, and that gives us 12. All right, and I do want to point out really quickly, this is a paper one question. On a paper one question, they do give you work, and you really should be showing your work there. Because I'm demonstrating this question, it would be very hard to scroll up and scroll down, so I'm just writing right in line for now. All right, so now it's asking to find the probability that a cho student chosen at random, hold on, let's make sure we actually read this part first. A student is chosen at random from those surveyed. Okay, so now we need to find the probability that the student has eaten both at the Thai cafe and the Indian cafe. So when you hear and, that is the intersection, somebody who is in both the Thai cafe and the Indian cafe. And so there are 13 students in that category, but they're not asking for a number in this question. They're actually asking for a probability. So we have to take that 13 and we have to put it over the total, which we recently found was 33. And that is the probability that you pick somebody who's eaten at both cafes. All right. So now we no longer need that. Now the question says to us, that T is going to represent a student, um, an event that a student has eaten at the Thai cafe, and I is going to represent a student that has eaten at the Indian cafe. And so now this looks a lot more complicated, but it is actually the same thing if you know how to translate the words. And so this means union, and it also means or. So this is saying, find the probability that someone has eaten at the Thai cafe or the Indian cafe. And so I'm gonna show you a common error and I want you to avoid this. These 10 people have eaten at the Thai cafe only. These eight people have eaten at the Indian cafe only. Many people who don't know as well as you do what to do here, would probably say the answer is 10 plus eight and 18. That is not correct. Thai cafe or Indian cafe means Thai cafe or Indian cafe or both. So this is T union I. So that's everything and this looks terrible. So I'm just gonna <laughs> commit and that's okay. All right, Thai cafe or Indian cafe or both. So Thai cafe, Union, Indian cafe. So we're going to be adding up here or 10 or 13 and or eight. And don't forget that this is probability. So it has to go over 
or total, which is 33. So here we have 31 over 33. And so our next question says, state whether the events T and I are mutually exclusive. So to answer that, you do have to know what mutually exclusive means. Mutually exclusive means that there is no crossover. That means no one went to both the Thai cafe and the Indian cafe. That means either you choose one or the other, never both. That Venn diagram would look like this. They would not connect if they were mutually exclusive. So in other words, they are not mutually exclusive. And the reason that you'd want to give here is because 13 people went to both. And that's it. All right, so stay tuned for the next video where, where I will go over question three of this paper one.